Emergency medicine research in Ottawa is internationally known. We have a worldwide uh, reputation. Uh, particularly, we're known for developing what are known as clinical decision rules, which are uh, tools used by the doctor to diagnose patients very quickly, get them out of the emergency department rapidly, and also to help avoid unnecessary tests. The JAMA Internal Medicine, a well-known journal, published the top five influential uh, decision rules for emergency departments in the United States, and three of those rules came from Ottawa, so we're rather proud of that. Here in Ottawa, we're manufacturing uh, viral therapies, specifically oncolytic viruses. Uh, for cancer treatments. Une de nos réussites a été la construction et la mise en service de d'installations de fabrication pour les produits biologiques, comme les virus oncolytiques. Nos ressources et locales constituent une opportunité unique et importante pour les chercheurs à Ottawa, mais aussi pour ceux autour du monde qui développent des thérapies virales. Individuals get their vaccines now from several different sources. They can get it from school, they can get it from work, they can get it from their healthcare provider. And the only person who can really know what vaccine they've received is that individual. So what we're doing here is we're empowering individuals to keep track of their own health information. We've uh, created an app to help Canadians. We hope this app can help individuals get accurate information about their immunizations, as well as keep track of their vaccinations and their families' vaccinations, as well as hopefully promote confidence in vaccinations. I've had the privilege of being, having my name attached to clinical prediction tools known as the Wells Rules. And these are reliable, validated, reproducible tools that are useful in the diagnostic process for patients who have suspected blood clots in their leg, DVT, or suspected pulmonary embolism, which are clots in the lungs. It can decrease the need for imaging tests in up to 30 to 40 percent of patients. And that's important because it decreases um, the exposure to radiation, exposure to contrast dye, it saves healthcare costs. The Wells rules are being used globally. They're used in hospitals, in diagnostic algorithms, they're used in expert clinical guidelines, they're used in apps for medical students and residents. They're also used in a new initiative known as the Choose Using Wisely initiative, which is a massive program that's been started in the U.S., now also in Canada, and is designed to decrease the use of inappropriate testing. J'ai développé le bras CanVent en partenariat avec une collègue du Centre des sciences de la santé de London et des ingénieurs du Centre de réadaptation de l'hôpital d'Ottawa. C'est une première ici au Canada. Les patients qui bénéficient du bras CanVent, ce sont des patients qui souffrent de maladies neuromusculaires. Le bras CanVent aide à démystifier l'installation de la ventilation par un bout buccal. Ceci permet une augmentation de la qualité de vie du patient qui vit à domicile et qui doit avoir accès à la ventilation 24 heures sur 24. Tractography has been used in the brain, but very few people, uh, if any, have used it in the spinal cord. And we were one of the first to develop it um, with respect to using it for patients. So the MRI shows us uh, big blocks of black or white or gray, um, and, but it doesn't actually show us the little nerve fibers that are running through it. And when uh, we do the tractography, we can see how the nerve fibers are running through. Now that plays a big role with respect to tumors. For example, there are some tumors that envelop the nerve fibers. And if they envelop the nerve fibers, then if we take that tumor out, we're going to cut the nerve fibers out. And that can result in a significant deficit. Either the patient can't move or they can't feel properly. Whereas other types of tumors, they can actually spread the nerve fibers. And if they spread the nerve fibers, then we can have a better ability to to remove that tumor without causing damage. And so, in a way, it has let us not only plan surgery, but also help patients in terms of giving them a better idea of what their potential risks and, and, and benefits are.